everybody. My name is Michelle Hediger with Lula Road, Michelle and Karen. And tonight, because it's five o'clock, um, actually on a Saturday night, I'm gonna get ready to go out soon. I think I was playing around with different outfits to wear tonight. And I have a feeling, I think uh, my husband and I are out to dinner, I think I wanna wear an azure skirt. And I got this great polka dot. See how cute this polka dot azure? And um, it's actually seeming like it's a little bit cooler. So I'm like, you know, I think I'm gonna have fun with the Azure tonight. Instead of wearing a t-shirt or something nice with a skirt, I think I'm gonna wear my jeans, throw on a, a Monroe, and wear my Azure as a top. So give me an idea of that. Today's tip that I wanna share is the Azure skirt and different ways that you can wear it. So the Azure skirt is a simple A-line skirt. It's true to size. So if you go to any department store or even you know your local Target, and you get a small and a skirt, you would wear a small in this skirt, extra large 2X, so forth and so forth, you're gonna wear in this skirt. It's pretty much true to size. You don't downsize like you do with our maxi skirts. So the Azure skirt, again, is a really great price point. They're only $35, and they're very simple. We have a variety of fabrics. Some of our fabrics, like this one, is a little more slinky, or it's that really soft feel to it, a little bit of a dressier material. And then you have your typical, more cotton poly blend, that has a little bit of spandex in it that has stretch, such as with my model today on my mannequin. So this is the way you would typically wear a azure skirt. Um, an azure skirt is a simple A-line. It has a yoga band, which a lot of people like because that means they can wear it however they want to on their waist. So this way is just tucked in, classic tee. You could also dress it out if you want more of a relaxed feel um, with uh, at, you know more of a lower, um, would typically wear you kind of wear your maxis waistband. You can also do some different things with this, simply by just adding a belt. So let me give you an example of that. You can easily just take her, put a belt on. You can wear the belt a little bit lower on your waist to show that kind of yoga band, and that gives you a cute look. Or you can always wear it higher on your waist. So then you got like a nice little cinch look that gives you kind of more of a neater kind of feel. Um, so that's one of the things you can do with your belt. The other thing you can do with your azure skirt is you can wear it up higher, which I love to do too, because um, I really like um, empire waist dresses and things like that. So oftentimes, I'll tend to wear a lot of my skirts a little bit higher with something fitted underneath because I really just like that kind of flair. Um, so certainly we can always just take this and just wear this a little bit higher. Um, and again, this is a folded down, but you don't have to fold it down. You can wear it a little higher on your waist and then put your belt on again. And you can see, this gives you a completely different look than wearing it lower on your waist. Oops, she goes back out. And there you go. And now you have just a completely different different look to wearing it at a higher, higher level. So that's something very simple, which is probably something you can figure out on your own. The other options are, as I mentioned, you can also wear it as, as a dress. Um, it's a great beach cover-up. I really personally didn't feel like wearing a strapless bra tonight because I knew I was gonna wear the kimono. So I, I, but if you can wear a strapless bra and then just wear it as a simple, easy, um, very simple cover up for a beach, which this is a perfect one, especially because I like to wear black bathing suits. Um, you can also wear it as a little dress. And basically you just wear your size that you are. So again, it's all true to size. And you would easily just pull it up. In this one, I, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be wearing the shirt underneath, certainly. I mean, you could if you wanted to. But you can just see this and you can see it's a really cute little short dress and you can even see on me it's kind of coming to like a mid thigh so if i wanted to i could wear like a tighter pair of um sh like shorts um which would give it a nice streamed look or in this case i just decided to wear jeans you can wear your leggings too with it it looks really cute with leggings um that's another option um right now i'm wearing it at the top not as a dress with my um tight skinny jeans and one of the things that i can do even like this is my monroe kimono that just came in aren't they gorgeous we got a couple of them small and large so Take a look for them on Monday night. Um, but what I can also do is, if you want a little bit of a different look, you can easily just take this with your kimonos, and again, this can be your um, Monroe or your Lindsay, with or without the fringe. And all you're gonna do is take this, put your belt on. I love elastic belts because you can wear them all different ways. Hook this here. Kind of blast out if you want to. And then I have a completely different look. I could have easily put a black tight Cassie skirt underneath this. That would have been really cute. Or even like a pop of red 
or a brilliant like electric blue, cobalt blue. I could have just put a nice skinny pencil skirt underneath this and that would have been a completely different look too. So there's so many things you can do. So you can layer this obviously like I mentioned with a castle skirt, leggings or shorts or even your um, tighter jeans. That's really a nice option for you. So now let's have a little bit of fun. So I showed you these cool little things. We can obviously wear it as a top. Um, you can wear it at the top and then add a skinny belt. So if you wanted to, you could easily just add a little bit of a skinny belt, kind of tight it and cinch it. And then give yourself a little bit of a blouse look. You could do something like that if you want to. But let's get it even a little crazier. And we're gonna actually do this a little bit different. Um, so I'm gonna actually take this, just drop it down just because it's easier on my mannequin. And I'm gonna get an, a different azure. Um, you wouldn't normally wear azure up top of azure, you could, but um, I just, just so you can see, because she doesn't have legs, so it's kind of hard to see. <laughs> so at least this gives her the illusion of having a bottom half. Um, we can actually turn our azure into a skirt. So if you see here, you got the yoga band top. You're actually gonna put it on with the yoga band top going down over your body. And again, I'm gonna leave the shirt on just so you get the illusion of arms, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see the arms. Um, all you do is, yoga band is down here. You're gonna pull it down. So if you had a pair of jeans on, or a pair of leggings, or even one of our skirts, you found a nice pairing. You're gonna take the two ends, see here? And you're gonna actually hold it and tie it around. Let me stick out her arms so you can get an illusion of arms. And you easily just tie it in a knot, or you can take a pin and tie it too. But if you double knot it, it works pretty well. I'm just gonna kind of fit it because she's, she's a mannequin. You're gonna tuck this in. It's pretty simple, actually. So especially if you find a pattern you really love, this is a really nice option for you because and this one's a nice stretchy, this is a super stretchy material. We just got this skirt in this week. We got it in this nice coral and gray, and we also got it in black and gray in a couple different sizes. So be sure to take a look for that one. Um, but you're just gonna kind of tuck that in. If you have any um, areas where maybe the arm, hair, arm holes, maybe the material flips, you're just gonna tuck that in. And then you have yourself a nice little tag. How cute is that? Now again, necessarily wear it with this outfit but it doesn't look too bad so this is what the back looks like so you just kind of tuck it in there isn't that a nice top so you literally have a skirt like this you have this nice halter top that you can create yourself you can blouse it out however you want to do it um, you have a nice little dress like I'm wearing or you can wear that as a tunic you could also wear it as a beach cover-up there's so many options with these orbs and azures, and oftentimes you don't realize how much fun you can play, and that's not until you play dress up, do you really know? Or if you go to a Lulu or a pop-up. So one of the things I wanted to show you is just some different neat styles they come in.